Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another 4K statue review on the Kotobokiya Horror Bishoujo Leatherface. Try and get your Kotobokiya statues, you can do so with me. Big, big, get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to Kotobukiya for making this review possible and sending out this product. My way to review for you guys, if you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, be sure to check the link in the description below. And we have some nice packaging art right over here, which I really like. I like how they have the wood floor theme going on throughout the front on the side of the Packaging, you can see a nice illustrated image of Leatherface. I do like that red image in the background on the side. And then on the back, you can see some lovely product shots over here. And then on the other side, you can see this nice dim red image, which I really like, very cinematic looking. Then you get a window on the top, and then not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here it is. All right, this is a gorgeous statue. Now we get two head sculpts with this piece, and I really like them both. And I wanted to start off looking at the bottom of this over here i think the last time i saw a texas chainsaw massacre it was actually a remake so i can't remember exactly what dead things are here but it looks like a lot of blood dripping uh, from the apron and from the chainsaw but i really like this detail that sculpted uh, wood grain and everything in there looks magnificent it looks like we have some teeth right down there so that looks pretty cool <laughs> a little scary right as it should be you know it's a horror shoujo you know Hang on tight. A scary review. Not really. Okay, dad jokes. Stop it with the dad jokes. Looks like a femur right over there. So yeah, some bones and some clothes. I'm not sure what this is all supposed to be, but it like I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like old clothes and stuff, or some feathers mixed in there and everything. So could have been uh, you know old dead animals or something like that. There's nothing at the bottom over there except for some copyright stuff. I do like how the boots look right here with this beautiful gray and black mixed in together, like this gradient thing going on right here. That's one thing I really love about Kotobukiya's work is that they have these gradient paint jobs that are just magnificent. You know, really dig that a lot. Skin tone looks really nice right here. She's got her knees knocking together. I love this itty bit of blood dripping right there. That is so awesome. And the way this is all painted right here on the chainsaw itself, that is so dope. Really like that a lot. Here's the other side of it right over here. So you can look at that. That is Awesome. Really, really dig this. Uh, again, this video is not intended for younger viewers. This is definitely for the older viewers on the channel. Okay. Uh, but this looks great with all this blood right over here. I really like that. That is awesome. I like how it looks like it, you know, it's like landed there and is dripping downward. And you can see how some of that blood's falling right over here. Same thing right over here, dripping downward, maybe... You know, doesn't line up perfectly, but looks fantastic. And then you get this great motion right over here, you know, with this whole tie thing on the back. You can see her chonies underneath, right underneath, right there. And then the apron coming up to the top. You can see all the blood and everything. That looks really cool. And then here's looking at the tie. I think that tie looks very well sculpted. So really good looking tie right there. They really nailed the detail. On there so it's not just uh this gray line you know tampoed on there it's actually sculpted so i like how you know the tie hangs and everything and it kind of has like a little bit of weight to it and everything so really good looking tie and then uh you can see that this hand right here has a lot of blood looks very realistic and this whole uh, bracelet thing hanging right here that looks really good i like how that hangs right there that's looking magnificent. And then you can see how her elbow's all bent. And you get some nice seams right here. The All the pinstripes are actually all sculpted on there. So that looks really good. Then here's looking at the back right there. Yeah, pretty, you know, smart move. They covered this up. So, you know, it's all covered up and everything. So there you go. Probably have a naughty post on the Tron getting into more detail. But, uh, yeah, I think it's, you know... As I complained with the black cat, they're doing the opposite over here with this one. Like, this is very much like the old school Badoom style of uh, Bishojo that I'm used to seeing. You know, very exaggerated, large proportions and stuff like that. And um, it looks great. And the paint apps right here look great as well. Then the hair looks really good on the head sculpt. And then looking at that face right there. Ooh, man, freaky. I love it. Oh, man, that is so dope. I love how you can see the cute eyes from underneath. She looks like she's really sad behind that thing. But this is dope. Maybe she's sad because I'm reviewing her. Oh, self 
burn. Not as fun when I do it, huh? I gotta let someone else do it. Anyway, let's switch the heads right over here. All right, and then we have the other head sculpt. Yeah, they both kind of look sad and everything, so there you go. Very pouty eyes once again. Same thing with the facial expression. And the hair looks fairly consistent. So I do like that. I like how it has a little bit of a gray. Well, I don't know about the choice of gray going to black, but it's like the whole thing is very dark. I don't know. Maybe if the hair was just closer to black throughout, it'd look a little bit more realistic to me. But I don't know. There's something about seeing gray fading to black or to that dark gray just looks neat to me but i don't know i guess if it was darker i think i would like it a little bit more but still very awesome looking statue regardless now to measure out this horror shoujo statue you can see that it is standing at about the eight to eight and a half inch mark and then for a horror shoujo size comparison we have leatherface compared to tiffany from bride of chucky we have the jason Voorhees, we have the ash williams and we have edward scissorhands and it's just kind of funny how these two are leaning away from each other I didn't do that on purpose. It's just kind of interesting. Here's the Leatherface Bishojo statue compared to the last Bishojo statue I reviewed. We have the Marvel Bishojo Black Cat, which I complained about because, you know, they didn't make her bits all large and exaggerated like they did with this one. Is it possible to be amorous and not an asshole? I guess not. But anyway, there she is next to the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider Man. I really like this one a lot. I think it's a beautiful piece. Like I said, uh, it hits all the marks that I want from the Bishojo line. So I really do like that a lot. And I love the added blood throughout too. I think that's just really badass. That's one thing I really like about these is that you get this whole gore factor and there's a whole like bunch of details here that have nothing to do uh, with the exaggerated bits that I really love about this thing. Like this whole bit right over here with the blood dripping down there, that is so badass. I really like the pose a lot. I like the detail that you see on the base. Uh, the detail in all of her clothing and all that is just exceptional. I really dig it a lot. I think I may put the leather face back on here. I thought I liked this one more, but yeah, there's something about that creepy face going on there that I think just looks a little bit cooler. But this one right here, uh, whether you're a fan of Leatherface or not, I, I I recommend this one. I really do like it a lot. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd give this a sub rating of I love it. So yeah, I totally recommend this one. This is a beautiful piece and I think it's selling for around the $100 price range. But yeah, if you want to check it out, uh, you could go to BBTS. Link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have a Marvel Legends review coming your way very soon and I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.